There is something deeply disturbing in deep space. Something so incredibly massive it could swallow an entire star. People tend to be fascinated by big and scary things, like dinosaurs. Today, we'll be talking about why a black hole is one of the scariest things in the universe. Black hole regions where gravity is so strong in space that nothing can escape are a hot topic in the news these days. Through his mathematical work, Roger Penrose showed that black holes are an inescapable consequence of Einstein's theory of gravity. Another scientist shared that a massive black hole sits at the center of our galaxy. You would be shredded if you fell into a black hole left over when a star died. The black holes seen at the center of all galaxies have insatiable appetites, and it's a place where the laws of physics are demolished. Black holes are one of the most destructive forces in nature, but far from being monsters, scientists now believe they could hold the key to the greatest mystery of all, where the universe came from. Black holes are the doorway to understanding the basic laws of the universe around us. The trouble is, they're practically invisible and billions of kilometers from Earth. Black holes can rightly be compared to tombs of matter because nothing can escape them, not even light. The fate of anyone falling into a black hole would be painful spaghettification, an idea popularized by Stephen Hawking in his book, A Brief History of Time. In spaghettification, the intense gravity of the black hole would pull you apart, separating your bones and muscles, sinews, and even molecules. As the poet Dante described the words over the gates of hell in his poem, divine comedy, abandon hope, all ye who enter here, a hungry beast in every galaxy over the past 30 years. Observations with the Hubble Space Telescope have shown that there are black holes at the center of all galaxies. Interestingly, nature has its way of making black holes over a staggering range of masses, from the corpses of stars, a few multiples of the mass of the sun, to monsters tens of billions of times more massive. That's like the difference between an apple and the Great Pyramid of Giza, over a thousand times larger than the black hole in our galaxy. These black holes are usually dark, but when their gravity pulls in nearby stars and gas, they flare into intense activity and pump out a huge amount of radiation. Massive black holes are dangerous in two ways. If you get too close, the enormous gravity will suck you in. And if they are in their active quasar phase, you'll be blasted by high energy radiation. How bright is a quasar? Imagine you are hovering over a mega city like Los Angeles at night. The roughly 100 million lights from cars, houses, and streets in the city can be likened to the stars in the galaxies. In this analogy, if the black hole is in its active state, it's like a light source one inch in diameter in downtown LA that outshines the city by a factor of hundreds or thousands. Quasars are the brightest objects in the universe. Supermassive black holes are strange. The brightest black hole discovered so far weighs in at 40 billion times the mass of the sun, or 20 times the size of the solar system. Whereas the outer planets in our solar system orbit once in 250 years, this much more massive object spins once every three months. Its outer edge moves at half the speed of light, as it is with all black holes, the huge ones are shielded from view by an event horizon, and the more scientists try to understand them, the stranger black holes become. The equations no longer make any sense. As a result, black holes can force scientists to abandon everything they thought they knew about the universe. There aren't questions much bigger than this. There's really a lot that we need help understanding. We humans have evolved to make sense of planet Earth, and so far, we've made a pretty good stab at it. In the last century, we've made sense of the impossibly small and the unimaginably large, the enormity of space and the microscopic behavior of atoms. Yet some things threaten to elude us completely. The harder we look, the more questions we uncover. Black holes are one of the most mysterious objects in the cosmos. Until recently, there wasn't much evidence that they existed at all, because while we think they're out there, we can't see them. Black holes are so hard to see, most of what we know about them hasn't come from those observing the universe, but from another group of scientists. The theorists and the universe they study are in their heads. Gravity is the universal force that holds everything together. If you were to shut off gravity right now, the sun would explode, the earth would fall apart, and we'd be flung into outer space at a thousand miles per hour. So, it's gravity that keeps us rooted in the Earth and holds and binds the galaxy and the solar system together. Scientists have been able to calculate the effects of gravity for centuries. 
at the center of a black hole. The equations predict something so strange, it blows Einstein's greatest achievement out of the water and forces us to question our understanding of the universe. Einstein hoped that general relativity would form the framework for a new understanding of nature. Instead, at the heart of its description of a black hole, theorists found a problem with Einstein's mathematics, something so disturbing his theory breaks down completely. Einstein's equations of general relativity simply say the following. The Ricci curvature tensor minus one half the metric tensor times the contracted curvature tensor is proportional to the stress energy tensor. All this says that if we start a star, a black hole, or even a universe, that determines the curvature surrounding that concentration of matter and energy. But inside these equations, there's a monster. In the extreme gravity of the core of a black hole, Einstein's equations spiral wildly out of control. After an exceptionally long, tedious calculation, they mostly get zeros, but the non-zero terms is given as follows. M is the mass of the black hole, and R describes the distance from the black hole. Here is the problem right there, when r is equal to zero, the point at which physics itself breaks down. So, one over r equals one over zero equals infinity. To a mathematician, infinity is simply a number that does not have a limit. To a physicist, it's a monstrosity. It means that, first of all, gravity is infinite at the center of a black hole, that time stops. And what does that mean? Space makes no sense. It means the collapse of everything we know about the physical universe. In the real world, there's no such thing as infinity. Therefore, there's a fundamental flaw in the foundation of Einstein's theory. According to Einstein, then all the mass of a black hole is contained within an infinitely small point that takes up precisely no space at all. This impossible object of infinite density and infinite gravity is called singularity. We know what a singularity is. A singularity is when we don't know what to do. What's so embarrassing about a singularity is that we can't predict anything about what will come out of it. Singularity is when our understanding of nature breaks down. That's what a singularity is. Einstein realized a problem when he was shown this infinity, but he thought that black holes could never physically form. Therefore, it was an academic question. Sure, there was a problem with these questions, but it didn't matter because Mother Nature could never create a black hole. In 1939, Einstein even authored a paper that proved black holes would never be found in the real world. We've learned a lot of physics since then, so we know that his reasoning was incomplete. No one had seen anything suggesting Einstein was wrong. For years, theorists were happy that general relativity was a complete understanding of gravity in our universe. Then, astronomers made x-rays. For some, these images could only be caused by black holes. However, the material on the way into the black hole can become extremely hot, so odd that it becomes a million degrees or even 10 million degrees, which makes x-rays. And so, just before this, this lump of material disappears in the black hole. It becomes a bright flash of x-ray radiation. The invisibility, great gravitational pull, massiveness, unreachable mysteries, and how it defies scientific theories are all reasons that make black holes truly a scary phenomenon to scientists.